yes, 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 here we are at the courthouse. It's about 10 o'clock. Our court date is at 10.30. We have a lawn care customer who owns us about uh, a little under $400. And so here we are, looking nice, ready to go, act professional, and hopefully, uh, hopefully get this resolved a little bit today, at least uh, get the judgment. So why don't I go ahead and take a minute. I'm getting ready, I'm going in here, but let's, uh, let me show you what it took to get to this point uh, to show up what the court date is. I can't record inside the courthouse, uh, but I will give you an update as soon as we're out. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how we got to the point where we had our court date for our small claims court with a customer who uh, refused to pay us. I'm in the state of Michigan, and in Michigan, the form for small claims court is DC84. So if you even just do a quick search online, you'll get this form. It's free, and then you can fill it out on your computer, or you can print it off and uh, you know just hand write it in. So it's DC 84 in the state of Michigan. If you're not in Michigan, I'm sure if you just do a Google search for small claims form and then your state, you'll be able to find it. Also, if you go in and the people at the court, the clerk's office, I found to be very friendly and helpful. They're not, I guess, allowed to give you legal advice, but if you ask them a question about, you know, where can I get this form? If I have a form, what do I put here? Um, they're, they're more than willing to go ahead and do that for you. And you start filling it out here. There's nothing really you need to write this out. Um, this number three, a civil action between these parties or other parties arising out of the transaction or occurrence has been previously filed. So you, you just check here whether or not there's already a current course court case, yes or no. If there's not, then you go ahead and you leave a blank. Do you have knowledge or belief that all the facts in this affidavit are true? Yes, you're the plaintiff, yes or no. Or if you work for a company and you're filling this out and then the plaintiff, are you an individual, a partnership, a corporation? You fill this out, the defendant, and then the dates that the things happened that led to you go ahead and suing the person, how much money you're claiming as damages, and then very quickly fill out here a reason why you're claiming. This is why you're suing somebody. And um, one of the things that I would encourage you and the recommendations that was given to me is to go ahead and narrow this down to very simple. This is not you presenting your case. Okay, you're going to have lots of time to do that in front of the judge. This is a simple one, two, three sentence, and that's why they only give you lines. Okay, small claims court is very simple, especially compared to the complexities of a normal court process. So go ahead and uh, just type it. Defendant refused to pay me money. Defendant broke my car. And now I, you know, simple, easy things. You know, they broke my fence and won't pay for it. Fill all this information out, and then you don't sign it. And then you also see this up here, one, two, three. So you're going to print four copies of this, okay? You print four copies of this. Don't sign it. And then when you go to the county clerk's office, they're going to want you to sign it in front of them, and then that way they can notarize this, okay? So it's pretty simple. You fill out this, this form. It's a one-page form. Print four copies. Go into your county clerk's office. Have your money ready to file. It's going to, you know, you can look up what the fees are going to be. The fee to have them mail the process, you know, the mail the letter telling the other person that they're being sued, I think was uh, $14. And then there's a filing fee dependent on how much you're suing for. So go ahead and look that up, have a check ready. Um, you don't have to fill out the amount, but at least have a check on you and then they'll tell you what the amount is and then you can go ahead and write that check. So pretty simple, fill out the one page form, print off four copies, don't sign it, go into your county clerk's office at the court, tell them that you wanna file a small claim, they'll look at it, They'll have you sign it in front of them, hand them your money, and that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're back, and uh, a little bit anticlimactic and a little bit uh, disappointing. So uh, she did not show up. The customer did not show up for court today. Uh, it was pretty interesting to uh, sit through some of the other cases, though. It was uh, like Judge Wapner, for real. If you ever have a chance, just you can just go sit through some of the cases in small claims court. People talking over the judge, judge starting them through a lot of court, all this, like have the bailiff come and remove them. Seriously, it was, uh, it was exciting. But apparently, um, the customer never signed for service. When I went and filed for the small claims, uh, they give you an option. She gave me an option, hey, we'll send it certified mail. And if anything happens and we can't get that to, uh, to the customer, then um, I guess in this case, the defendant, if I can't get this to the defendant, uh, you know, they don't sign for it, we'll send you a letter and let you know, and you'll have to hire a process server. Well, um, 
apparently that never happened. Uh, when they called my case, uh, she wasn't there, and uh, the judge saw that she hadn't signed for uh, the complaint, summons and complaint, and uh, so now I have to refile. The refile fee is free. That's good, and I have to uh, call one of these process servers and see how much they charge uh, to serve this lady because she doesn't want to sign for the court because she knows, uh, I think she knows what's coming. So anyway, I guess there'll be an update after I find out how much, uh, how much this process server is going to cost and if we are able to get her served. So um, I'm going to go ahead and refile that and then stay tuned for uh, the sequel to uh, trying to collect money in small claims from a lawn care customer who uh, thinks I should cut for free. Talk to you later.